Hey guys, we are back with the second section of ICC 2017 chemistry paper. Do as the first part of the video, whose link will be on the top right corner. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Section 2 40 marks. You have to attempt any 4 questions, but I am going to solve all the 6 for you. We will start with question 2 A. Arrange the following as per the instructions given below in the bracket. Number 1 Helium Argon Neon. You have to arrange in increasing order of the number of electron cells. Now as you know, number of electron cells incre increases on moving down the group. Helium, Argon, Neon belong to the same group where Helium comes first. That is Helium will have the least number of electron cells, then Neon and then Argon. Next, Sodium, Lithium and Potassium. You have to arrange in increasing ionization energy. Now ionization energy decreases on moving down the group. So lithium will have the maximum ionization energy, sodium less than lithium and potassium the least. Next, fluorine, chlorine and bromine in order of increasing electronegativity. Now electronegativity decreases on moving down the group. That is fluorine is going to have the maximum, chlorine after that and bromine the least. Last, sodium, potassium and lithium in increasing atomic size. Now atomic size increases while moving down the group. So in order lithium, sodium and potassium. Question B, state the type of bonding in the following molecules. Number one, water. Now water has polar covalent bonding and calcium oxide forms ionic bonding. Number C. Answer the following questions. Number 1. How will you distinguish between ammonium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide using copper sulphate solution? Copper sulphate reacts with NaOH to give a blue color precipitate which is insoluble and Na2SO4. Whereas, when it reacts with ammonium hydroxide, it gives a, the same precipitate but is soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide. Same blue precipitate but is soluble. Ammonium sulphate plus ammonium hydroxide will give tetraamine copper to sulphate and water sorry pour water number two how will you distinguish between dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute sulfuric acid using lead nitrate solution lead nitrate reacts with sulfuric acid to give white and insoluble PPT of lead sulphate and HNO3. Lead nitrate with HCl gives white and soluble precipitate of lead chloride and HNO3. Number D. Identify the salts P and Q from the observations given below. Number 1. On performing the flame test, salt P produces a lilac colored flame and its solution gives a white precipitate with silver nitrate solution which is soluble in ammonium hydroxide solution. Now the answer lies over here. Lilac colored flame which is given by potassium and white precipitate with silver nitrate which is given by chloride ion. So the answer will be potassium chloride. Number 2. When dilute HCl is added to a salt Q, a brisk effervescence is produced and the gas turns lime water milky. When ammonium hydroxide solution is added to the mixture, after adding dilute HCl, it produces a white precipitate which is soluble in excess ammonium hydroxide solution. Now, the gas turns lime water milky means the gas is carbon dioxide which is produced by carbonates when it reacts with acids 
and a white precipitate which is, which is soluble in excess ammonium hydroxide that is zinc so zinc carbonate will be the answer question 3a draw an electron dot diagram to show the formation of each of the following compounds number one methane number two magnesium chloride well the electron dot structure will be like this carbon shares its four outermost electrons with four hydrogen atoms having one electron each to form methane Next, in magnesium chloride, magnesium loses its two outermost electrons to form Mg2 plus cation, whereas each of the each of the chlorine atoms accepts one one electron to form chloride ion. The structure electron dot structure will be like this. Question B: State the observations at the anode and at the cathode during the electrolysis of number one fused lead bromide using graphite electrode. Now, at cathode, grayish white lead is formed. Whereas at anode, reddish brown fumes of bromine gas is produced. Number two, copper sulfate solution using copper electrodes. In this electrolysis, at cathode, reddish brown copper is deposited, whereas at anode, nothing gets deposited because copper keeps getting dissolved in the electrolyte. Question C. Select the ion in each case that would get selectively discharged from the aqueous mixture of the ions listed below. Number one, sulfate nitrate and hydroxyl ion since it is aqueous mixture so hydrox the concentration of hydroxyl ions will be higher as a result hydroxyl ion will be preferentially discharged number two lead silver and cupric ion since cup uh, sorry silver is placed in below in the metal activity series as a result silver will be selectively discharged Question 4. A. Certain blank spaces are left in the following table and these are lab labeled as A, B, C, D and E. You have to identify each of them. Number 1. Lab preparation of HCl gas. The reactant used are NaCl plus H2O and H2O4. The products formed will be sodium, hydrogen sulfate and HCl. The drying agent is concentrated sulfuric acid and the method of collection is upward displacement of air. Number two is lab preparation of ammonia gas. The reactants used are magnesium nitride and water. The products formed are magnesium hydroxide and ammonia. The drying agent used is quicklime CaO and the method of collection is downward displacement of air. In question B, you have to write balanced chemical equations to show Number 1. The oxidizing action of concentrated sulfuric acid on carbon. Carbon reacts with sulfuric acid to give CO2 SO2 gas. Number 2. The behavior of sulfuric acid as an acid when it reacts with magnesium. With magnesium it will react to give magnesium sulfate and produce hydrogen gas. Number three, the dehydrating property of concentrated sulfuric acid with sugar C12H22O11 in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid will be broken down into 12C plus 11H2O. Question C, write balanced chemical equations to show how SO3 is converted to sulfuric acid in the contact process. In SO3, first sulfuric acid is added to form oleum, oleum with water will give you sulfuric acid. Question 5a, sub part 1, propane burns in air according to the following equation, C3H8 plus 5O2 gives 3CO2 plus 4H2O, what volume of propane is consumed on using 1000 cm cube of air? Considering only 20% of air contains oxygen. According to question, volume of air equals 1000 cm cube. Thus, volume of oxygen equals 20% of volume of air, that is 1000. Thus, 200 cm cube. Therefore, 5 volt equal to 200 by the equation. 
so one wall equals 40 centimeter cube thus volume of propane will be 40 centimeter cube part 2 the mass of 11.2 liters of a certain gas at stp is 24 gram find the gram molecular mass of the gas one mole of gas equals 22.4 liter you have been given 11.2 liter of gas as mass 24 gram thus 1 liter will equal 24 by 11.2 and 22.4 will equal 24 by 11.2 into 22.4 that is 48 gram question b a gas cylinder can hold 1 kilogram of hydrogen at room temperature and pressure number 1 find the number of moles of hydrogen present molecular weight of hydrogen equals 2 gram you have to find number of moles number of moles equals mass of hydrogen given by molecular weight of hydrogen that equals 1000 by 2 equal to 500 moles what weight of CO2 can the cylinder hold under similar conditions of temperature and pressure number of moles of CO2 will be equal to number of moles of H2 that is 500 moles now one mole of CO2 equals 44 gram thus 44 gram sorry 500 mole of CO2 will be equal to 44 into 500 that equals 22,000 gram or 22 kgs. Question 3. If the number of molecules of hydrogen in the cylinder is X, calculate the number of CO2 molecules in the cylinder under, under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Now by Avogadro law, under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, equal volumes of gases contain the same number of molecules. Thus, number of molecules of CO2 will be equal to number of molecules of hydrogen that is X. Number 4. State the law that helped you to arrive at the above result that is Avogadro law which states that under similar conditions of temperature and pressure equal volumes of gases contains the same number of molecules. Question C. Write a balanced chemical equation for the preparation of each of the following salts. Number 1 is copper carbonate. CuO plus CO2 will give Cu. CO3. Number 2. Ammonium sulfate crystals. Ammonia plus sulfuric acid will give you ammonium sulfate. Question 6. A. Give a balanced chemical equation for each of the following. Number 1. Action of concentrated nitric acid on sulfur. Sulfur plus 6 HNO3 will give sulfuric acid plus 2H2O plus 6 and 2 number 2 is catalytic oxidation of ammonia 4 ammonia plus 5O2 in the presence of catalyst platinum at 800 degrees centigrade will give you 4NO plus 6H2O and heat number 3 laboratory preparation of nitric acid a nitrate and sulfuric acid below 200 degrees centigrade will give metallic hydrogen sulfate and nitric acid. Number 4 is reaction of ammonia with nitric acid. Ammonia plus nitric acid will give you NH4NO3. B. Identify the term or substance based on the descriptions given below. Number 1. Ice like crystals formed on cooling and organic acid sufficiently. It's glacial acetic acid. Number 2. Hydrocarbon containing a triple bond used for welding purpose. It's acetylene. Next. The property by virtue of which the compound has the same molecular formula but different structure formula is isomerism. Number 4. The compound formed when two alkyl groups are linked by 
C double bond O group it's ketones question C give a balanced chemical equation for each of the following number one preparation of ethane from sodium propionate sodium propionate with NaOH in the presence of CaO at 300 degrees centigrade will give ethane and sodium carbonate number two is action of alcoholic KOH on bromoethane bromoethane plus KOH alcoholic will yield double bond compound C2H4 and KBr plus water question 7a name the following number one process of coating of iron with zinc it's galvanizing number two an alloy of lead and tin that is used in electrical circuits it's solder number three an ore of zinc containing its sulfide zinc blend number four a metal oxide that can be reduced by hydrogen CO or PBO number B answer the following questions with respect to the electrolytic process in the extraction of aluminium number one Identify the components of the electrolyte other than pure alumina and the role played by each. Now cryolite and phosphor are the components. Cryolite lowers the fusion temperature from 2050 to 950 degrees centigrade and phosphor increases the conductivity. Number 2. Explain why powdered coke is sprinkled over the electrolytic mixture because it reduces heat loss by radiation and prevents burning of anode. C. Complete the following by selecting the correct option from the choices given. Number 1. The metal which does not react with water or dilute H2SO4 but reacts with concentrated H2SO4 is copper. Number 2. The metal whose oxide which is amphoteric is reduced to metal by carbon reduction it's lead. Number 3. The divalent metal whose oxide is reduced to metal by electrolysis of its few salt is magnesium. So guys, here we come to an end of this video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.